I agree with whoever said that just getting women into political office isn't enough. No. I think that, and, um, and I'm not surprised that Barbara Boxer and Dianne Feinstein abandoned immigrants. I see a lot of women that I and others have helped mm -hmm. get into positions of power mm -hmm. and they don't use that power in a positive way. But what I was thinking about when you were talking about um, women leading and women making decisions about uh, peace and um, the economy and that sort of thing, that they're, they're b before that happens, before we start worrying about putting people in political offices, we need to have a revolution in thinking first. And, and if that doesn't happen, what good does it do? What good does it do for you to spend a year having a working to get people in office that you know are going to abandon you? What good does it do me to, to support either a Republican or a Democrat when I know they're not going to support Native issues? What good does it do? Um, and so that I think we have to start, we have to begin at the beginning. There has to be a revolution in thinking first. Well put. And then, well put. And then, well put. then before we get to power. Otherwise, we'll end up with Margaret Thatcher. <laughs> From the outside, it looks like what I'm doing is I'm building an economic system, and I'm doing that. And, um, and building clinics, and I'm doing that. And building schools, and I'm doing that. And building daycare centers and, and systems that support women, I'm doing that. But what I'm really doing is trying to work with my own people and get our people to trust their own thinking again and to believe in themselves again and to, um, to look f to themselves for solutions to problems, to, to trust what we know and to, 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 to try to preserve that in some way. I think in our own little world, in our own little communities, we, have, um, we have still have a sense of interdependence that I don't see in much of the rest of the world. And, um, and I think we have something to share. Mm -hmm. In my culture, still, even though we're very intermarried and very acculturated, we don't hold people in high esteem because they, because they have great personal achievements um, nearly as much as we do people who help the family, the community, and the tribe. And, um, and I want to preserve that.